Hey, today our identity statement is, I am an heir, I am a co-heir with Jesus. And um, that's kind of an interesting statement. I think some of these identities we think we understand, but do we really? So um, one of the things about being an heir is, number one, the person has to die before we become an heir. Well, we can, we can be an heir, but we don't receive all the benefits until a person dies. So Jesus died, right? So now we get the benefits. Um, we cannot have the benefits or the heirship unless we're connected to the one who died, right? So we are connected to Jesus. We can't get it without him. Um, the other thing I want to say about being a, a co-heir with Jesus is, is that he identified with us, right? He did it from his point. He, he didn't need to, but he did. And so there's so much uh, gratefulness and thankfulness and rejoicing that he chose us and that he chose to suffer um, and do the things he did so that we could reign and rule with him. And that's what the Bible tells us in um, uh, Revelation and some other places is that we are to reign and rule with him. That's future tense. But right now, every aspect of what Jesus overcame, we can now overcome because we are his heir his heirs so all of the giftings that he had are available to us if we'll only believe right it's really a, be a belief thing if we believe are we truly an heir a co-heir with Jesus are we do we truly have all the rights and the benefits that come to us because of the death of Jesus Christ if we do then we have all of them we don't just pick and choose right we have them all including the ability to cast out demons to be led by the Spirit, to be able to heal the sick and they'll recover, to have um, undepth known, uh, undepth levels of, of understanding and wisdom that's available to us. All of that is available to us, power in our words. Um, just think about all the things that Jesus was and that J Jesus is today, but he was when he was here. He gave such a big, beautiful picture of the Father, and he manifested the Father, and then when he died, he won the right to rule over, um, over creation. And for us, he gave us the rights to be his co-heirs. So there's just so much wrapped up in this name, um, in this identity, of taking it on you know you can mix it together with you know I'm a child of God I'm saved I'm born again all of those are really all kind of uh, one big picture but a, a different way to explain it and I'd like to know over the last few days which one of these identities has really um, touched you or has really challenged you in a new way and uh, so far this one is the one that, that I'm really having a hard time wrapping my head around right scripture tells us that we'll have every spiritual blessing and that we we have available to us pe love peace joy you know all of the fruits of the spirit are available to us because of what this co-heirship um, and I think the one that re one of the thoughts that just really keeps reverberating in, in my mind and in my spirit today is that maybe because of some things that are you know that have happened to my family this last week and a, a dear friend had a tragedy um, but is that you know my job is not to control and, and that has t can tend to be my my um, sorry about all the reflection I'm trying to find a place here in the car um, we're on our way to um, my husband's sister it's her birthday today and so we're going over to spend we always spend the day with each other on our birthdays and um, go to lunch and usually take her to a movie or do something she's single and so we come over to do that so sorry I got my eyes all squinted up because of the Sun but um so back to the original thought is that I don't have to worry because he is the author and the finisher of my faith, but he is also the author and finisher of everything here that's on earth and my husband's coming. So I have to make this really short um, just because it'll, it'll make noise. Here, let me, let me, let me let him in the car. So if he's the author and the finisher of our faith and that he has won it all, and that he's in charge. I don't have to worry about anything. My only responsibility is to love and honor him and to enjoy him forever, right? Everything else he's taken care of. And just to grab all the fruits and all the benefits and all the airship, all the things that are given to me. I didn't have to work for it. And I still don't have to because Jesus got it all. He did it all for me. All I have to do is believe and receive it. So those are kind of some things that are running around my spirit today. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. Have a blessed day.